All right, let's talk about how to take our abstract painting and get it prepped and ready for our book. The first thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need two pieces of cardboard and you'll need a square piece of paper. What we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap each piece of cardboard to make our front and back covers. So to wrap my cardboard in the paper, I'm gonna put my cardboard in the middle so that I can see a border along all four sides. Then I'm going to need to fold my paper over the top of the cardboard on one side. And I'll just use the tape to tape that in place. You can also glue it down if you would prefer. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Pull that over. And tape. Now I need to flip these sides over, but if I just flip them, they're gonna poke out of the edges. So instead, I'm gonna fold the corner down like that, so it makes a diagonal line. So I'll fold the corner down like that. Then I'm good to flip it over and fold it over the cardboard now. It's very similar to wrapping a present. I just want to make sure that my tape stays on the inside and I can't see it on the other side because that is my front cover so I don't want to see tape there but on the inside it is a-okay. And I will repeat on the other side so again fold it down on both sides and flip it over. All right, so now, and then I'll just repeat on the other side. So I should have two covers, front and the back. I'm gonna set those off to the side. Now I need to take my painting and I have a template here that I'm gonna use. I need to get 11 pieces out of this. So if I just randomly put this on here, I'm not gonna be able to fit that many. Um, if you want to do it on the front, you can and pick certain spots, but again, you need to be able to fit 11. So you can't have like big gaps in between. You want them right next to each other. All right, so now I'll select a piece that I want to be my front cover. The front cover's gonna be pink. I think I like this one. So I'll position it evenly on my paper and then I will glue it down. All right, so I got a front cover, I got a back cover. I don't put one on the back cover. If you have leftover paper and you wanna do something on the back cover, you can, but you need 10 squares for your pages. So I'm gonna set my covers off to the side and I'm going to set my pages off to the side. So when I open my book, my pages pop out. So I have, I'm going to have three pieces of black paper that I'm going to connect to create the inside portion of my book. All right, to fold our black paper, we're gonna be putting three folds in our paper to get it to be able to open and close like this. You're going to first take your paper and you're going to fold it in half, making sure that your edges line up. The better lined up it is, the neater uh, your pages will be. So I hold with one arm and use the other one to make the crease. Now I want a really good crease, so I'm really gonna crease that a few times. 
Then I'm just going to open it back up and then I'll be taking this edge and folding it down to here, which will create a line in the middle right here. So now I'm just folding in the other direction in half again. Once I've lined up my edges, I'll use one hand to hold it down, the other hand to make the crease. All right. And then I'll open that back up. Now, right now, when we fold paper, your paper either makes a mountain or a valley. So using a paper that I've already done, if my paper is up like this, the corners are all pointed down and it has a point at the top. So that's the mountain side. If I flip it over, it points down. So we would call that the valley side. So all of my corners are pointing up now. So right now, when we just folded our paper, our paper is valley side up because my corners are pointing up and the middle is pointing down. To do my next fold, I want to flip that over. So I want the mountain side up. So I want the corners pointed down and I want the peak in the middle going up. I'm going to turn my paper so that it is corner facing me. So now it is a diamond shape. I'm going to fold right here. So I'm gonna be folding this corner to this corner, increasing my line right there in the middle. What it's gonna do is gonna make a triangle. So I need to line up my corner really, really well. I'll hold with one hand and using the other hand, I'll make my crease. It's a little bit off, it's okay. It's better to just leave a single crease than to try and keep refolding it. All right, so now we have this. So now it's valley again. What I need to do is I need to pop this in the other direction like that. So once again, that middle point, I want it to pop up. So I'm literally gonna put my finger right underneath it and push it so it pops the other direction. So now you can see these lines are ready to go this way. So what's gonna happen is these two folds are gonna come together and it's gonna kind of naturally bend in on itself. So again, the key is if I'm here, I have to make sure that I pop it in the other direction and it will very easily fold up into this shape, okay? So it should open, it should close. You're gonna repeat that for your three papers. Okay, now we have the very fun task of attaching these pieces of paper together to make one solid book, okay? So when you look at my book, you'll notice some pages are squares while others are triangles here, okay? So we did all the folding already. So what you should have is squares, triangles. You want to face your paper so that it is triangle side facing you. So I want the triangles to point at me. I don't want the squares to point at me. I want the triangles to point at me. Once I've done that, I need to check if my pieces are valley or mountain. Right now, all of my pieces are valley. So the corners are pointing up and the top is pointing down at the table. So if you're not following along, please follow along. You want to make them all valley. The middle paper, you're going to flip over so that it is mountain. So you're literally just going to turn that one so it's upside down. Where they connect is they connect on the square pieces that are next to the other paper. So I have a square piece here and a square piece here. They're going to, the valley piece is going to slide under the mountain piece and that's where it will connect, okay? So I'll go ahead and glue that. So 
So I'm just gonna put glue along one edge. And then this is the piece that I'm trying to connect. Press and hold, and I don't wanna move what's what here. All right, now this one, I've got the square piece facing this way. Then I've got another square piece here. They're going to connect like that. So it's the exact same thing on the other side. I'll go ahead and glue this here. And then we'll connect it down. Now what should happen is I should be able to push from both edges and it will fold up and compact into one small piece. So it opens and it closes. Opens and closes. All right, so once we're here, it's time to start connecting our pieces to our project.